Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to uh, recreate a technique uh, that you can achieve using a, a machine laser cutter. So this technique will uh, aim to replicate the engraving effect achieved with, with a machine, so with a laser cutter, and so we're aiming to create a, a similar effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this wood background in combination with this image of the zebra here. So I'm using my move tool, I'm going to click, hold, drag and drop on the background there. I'm going to reposition and then I'm going to duplicate this layer by dragging it down to duplicate, switching off the bottom layer there and on this top layer I'm going to make it into black and white. So image adjustments and desaturate. Then I'm going to again copy that layer, so duplicate, so we only have two. I'm working on the top layer, I'm going to go to filter and filter gallery, then moving over to sketch and selecting photocopy. And for this layer we're going to put both levels up really high, so detail and darkness, then press OK. Then switching off that layer and moving down to the next layer, same again, filter, filter gallery, and this time we're going to bring the detail down. So that looks pretty good. Then press OK. So we've got um, two very different effects going on here. Now we're selecting the top layer again. We're going to use a layer mask and using the brush with it set to black to remove areas. We're going to rub out areas just to allow the area underneath to show through. And what this does is it will allow uh, the areas of greater detail which we have hiding underneath uh, to, to show through in our effect. So now selecting using shift to select from top to the next layer down and then right clicking to merge layers. So that has uh, mixed our, our layers uh, together. Now we're going to go to select and color range and select the shadows. Once we've selected our shadows we're going to turn off that layer, make a new layer and just simply fill it with black. So edit fill and fill with black. And then we're going to go to select and deselect to uh, remove those marching ants so we can see uh, a clearer version of our picture. So we're heading in the right direction to um, you know, replicating our effect. Uh, we're going to, and the next step is to you know, start to blend this in a little bit better. Um, so the best thing to do is to use uh, a blend mode, so again make sure the top layer is selected and we're going to go to soft light. We're going to, get, we're going to replicate that layer so we have two copies and the top one is just going to fade it out just a little to, to help it blend in so it's a little bit softer, so probably about halfway there is about right. Great, so then uh, working on the, the second layer down, go to double click to bring up our layer style uh, options and clicking on bevel and emboss, checking the style is in a bevel and the technique is smooth. The direction is going to be down, so you can see it's starting to take effect here. And the depth we're going to move up to about 300, maybe 400 percent. So that looks about right. So you keep checking the image as you're working to make sure you get the desired effect. Then the highlight mode, <clears throat> highlight mode is going to be set to linear dodge. So you can find linear dodge, there we go. Then shadow mode is going to be uh, linear burn. Uh, both of these we probably want to reduce the effect just a little, maybe to about 30% or so, just to ease that effect so it's not too strong, not too striking. There we go, so uh, just pressing OK. Uh, we're pretty much there. Uh, to d produce any tweaks, you can maybe drop the opacity a little bit more of the top layer to help kind of fade it in. You could potentially do that to the to this layer too to help to make it a little bit more subtle. So just trying to aim a, a, a more natural uh, effect. Um, so there we go. We're pretty much there. We're going to now just crop the image just to remove any of the excess areas around the edge that we don't require. Great, so we've, um, we've replicated the uh, engraving effect achieved with a laser, so the burning effect, into the wood. So there we go. Good luck with your own edits, and I hope you enjoy.